Hello, today we're going to be drawing the largest lizard to walk the earth, which is the Komodo dragon. Thank you very much to Idris for his request for this one. And welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel. If you haven't been here before, I give you the techniques and tips to make amazing artwork. So without further ado, get yourself a couple of pencils. I'm using an HB and a 6B, you can just use a normal pencil. I'm going to be using an eraser. You'll need some white paper and here's the Komodo dragon we're gonna be drawing. Now also find yourself something that can provide a little bit of texture underneath the paper. So I've just got myself a coaster which has a cork backing, but don't worry, that's just a little extra if you want to add it. And don't forget, if you like drawing animals, here's my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping. So let's get started. So start off with the triangle in the top left hand corner of your page. Remember to do this very lightly in pencil as we're going to be rubbing out these guidelines. So from the top right hand corner of the triangle just draw a slightly curved line coming all the way down to the bottom right hand corner. We're now going to do another line, slightly parallel, and this is going to be the underbelly of the Komodo dragon. Carry on the line and we're just gonna do the tail. So bring it round and then we're just gonna finish off by doing the top of the tail. Remember this doesn't have to be perfect, this is just the base layer. Next we're gonna do the front leg. So draw a line diagonally down another one coming down, and then one for the foot. And also we're gonna do the hind leg. So again, just draw a line coming round, one coming down, and another one for the foot. And last but not least, we're gonna do the mouth, and the little eye, and a nostril so it can breathe. Now using a softer pencil, I'm using a 6B pencil, I'm just going to start the actual drawing. So using the guidelines to help me, I'm just drawing the top of the head and then I'll just follow the guideline all the way around to do the spine, all the way down. Now you can see I'm pressing a little bit harder so you can see it better. Let's so bring it all the way around. Now I'm going to finish off the top lip, bring it down and round. And now the bottom lip. Now using your eraser, just erase some of the guidelines. Don't erase it completely, just enough so that you can still barely see it, so that it can still help you draw but not so much so that it stands out and confuses us. So just keep on drawing all these folds of skin that the Komodo dragon has. I've got lots of folds of skin, particularly around the neck area. So keep going to each of these folds and just rub out the guidelines as you go along. So zooming in on the face, we're going to start off with the nostril. So just draw a very small triangle and color it in. And now we're going to do the little beady eye. So just draw the top part of the eye and then the bottom and then the center and leave a tiny little gap in white just to show kind of like where the light hits it and then some wrinkles around the eye. So lots of lines around the eye, just to show all the wrinkly parts. And then add a few more, and particularly around the nostril as well. And then we're going to carry on doing some more um, of the underbelly and the neck. So carry it on round. And then erase out the guidelines for the leg but remember just enough so that we can still see them, so that we can still use them. I'm gonna start the leg. And then the back of the leg, just bring it round. And a few more folds. 
these Kwaido dragons are super wrinkly. So you just keep on adding all these different folds all around. They don't have to be exactly the same as mine, just as long as you've got a few. So now we're going to do the foot. And then at the toes, don't forget to add big claws on the end of the toes. So keep on going, adding the claws as you go along. And then the next one. So we're just going to carry on erasing and redrawing. We do the same with the hind leg. So add it in. The lines are a lot more curved now. So bring it round and we're going to do the back foot. So do the toe. And a big old claw. And then the same again. And another toe. And another big old claw. So keep going. You're doing super well if you've got this far, so many, many congratulations. So keep on going. We haven't got much more to do. So now the back of the back leg. And then we're going to do the belly. And then the tail. So bring it all the way around. And then the other side of the tail as well. We'll just do the top, bring it all the way down. And then bring it round. And now we're just going to add a few more wrinkles and just some more markings along the skin. So now I'm going to add some grass so that it doesn't look as if the Komodo dragon's flying in the air. Just add some underneath the Komodo dragon and a little bit peeping out between the toes and under the belly and the tail. And then I'm just going to put in the horizon in the background. Now, using a coaster, and the underside is made out of cork, I'm going to put this underneath my piece of paper. And this is going to give me some texture so that when I go over it in pencil, I'm going to use the side of the pencil, um, it's going to give me a really nice texture. Um, it'll produce a really good effect. So I'm just lightly just going over it, just trying to bring out the texture in the cork coaster. You can use anything really if you can find um, well, anything that has quite a nice texture to it. So you can use stone that produces a really nice um, variation and texture. So I'm kind of trying to keep it all in the same direction, um, just kind of tilting off to the right hand side and then I'm having to move the coaster as I go along. Um, but you know, experiment, you can use loads of different things. Coins are great to use as well, different metals with different textures, just experiment and have some fun. So I'm just going along. I'm just doing all the same tonal value at the moment, but I will come back and I'm going to do the darker areas again. But just for the time being, I'm just going over kind of just a mid gray just to get the, um, the drawing covered. And then I'm going over with an eraser just to kind of get rid of all my messy bits because I tend to be quite a messy drawer. But that doesn't matter because you can always um, go back and get rid of all the messy bits. So now I'm going back and doing a bit more of the shadowy areas so I'm going in one direction I'm tilting off to the left and then I'm going to come back and then tilt off to the right just to make it even darker so I'm going to do this for all the shadowy areas and all the really dark tones and um, just experiment um, with your shading if you want a tutorial on how I shade um, just click on the link in the top right hand corner So I'm just doing all the really dark tonal areas, particularly under the belly and the neck. And think about where the light's shining. So the light's shining from above onto this Komodo dragon. And 
and particularly the light will catch all the wrinkly areas. And this one has quite a lot of wrinkly areas. And don't forget to do the shading underneath um, so that it kind of blends in with the rest of the drawing. So keep going, keep adding lots of different layers of shading. I like to work um, my layers and keep on adding more and more. So starting off with a mid-tone and then just getting progressively darker. So now I'm putting on some scales. So I'm doing lots of sharp lines in one direction, going over in the opposite direction. So it's like a little grid. So I'm gonna do that just kind of roughly all over the body, just to show that it's scaly. So keep on going, just adding the finishing touches now. Just getting a little bit darker in different areas. So I'm really pressing down now, particularly on the, um, the underside underneath the tail. And just tidying up a bit and there's your finished Komodo dragon. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, click like and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye bye.